Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. You may have been seeing some talk online about the potential for some cold and snowy weather across the UK and Ireland recently. And in this video, we're going to be talking about those claims and looking at if there's kind of any truth to it. And if there is, when and where will kind of that cold snowy weather happen. We're going to start off now by looking at some computer models. This is a GFS model here, and I'm showing you the overview chart. So the black lines are the ice bars, lines of equal pressure. Those show your high and low pressure areas. And then we have the precipitation that's shown by the kind of blue and green colors of rain and then the purple ones showing snow. And bear in mind, this is just a kind of one computer model. So it's one possible scenario. Uh, and the further out we go from kind of now, so in, a, in like a day's time, then a week's time, then two weeks time, the more unreliable uh, the model uh, gets and the less confidence we have in the forecast. So just bear that in mind as we go through. But as you can see, this weekend initially, things are looking pretty unsettled. We have a big low pressure system just to the northwest of the UK. So showery, kind of mild, with uh, spells of rains at rain at times, especially across western areas. And you can see that, that low pressure hangs around. But then notice what does happen is by the middle of the week, and actually even by kind of Monday, Tuesday, we get a high pressure establishing itself to the southwest of the UK and Ireland here. So that means it's going to be a lot more settled uh, than kind of the recent weather has been. So perhaps some sunshine, uh, some kind of generally similar temperatures, but most importantly, no rain. That is the big change. No wind, no rain, settled weather. And you can see that high pressure, at least on this model, lasts for a kind of three days or so before things start to change. And it's at this point by kind of Thursday, Friday, that we start to have um, differences appearing in the weather models. So I'm gonna first show you the GFS scenario of what happens to this high pressure system. And you can see, interestingly, it kind of builds from its current position back to the kind of northwest like so and kind of allows a more northerly and cold flow to push into the UK during the end of the week. And actually, you can see by Friday, we have a northerly wind bringing rain and snow and sleet showers to parts of northern Scotland. And if I show you the air mass chart, you can see we have negative uh, five degrees uh, temperatures at about one to 1.5 kilometers in the air, indicating a pretty chilly air mass. So especially at the time of year, it will be feeling quite cold, quite wintry with the risk of snow. But um, if we look at other models, for example, the Canadian model, you can see for the exact same time, which is Saturday, so one week, it is completely different. It is mild, it's unsettled, uh, it's kind of probably rainy. If we take a look, yeah, bands of rain pushing in, uh, even potentially a low pressure system with some strong winds. So that is one of the kind of key uncertainties about beyond kind of Thursday, Friday, because if you take a look at the Canadian model, look where this high pressure moves. Instead of moving this way, it actually moves uh, that way to the kind of southeast. And as it does that, it just kind of allows, instead of kind of being a, like a trapdoor for, or not a trapdoor, like a kind of a door for the cold air to come in from the north, it allows kind of mild air to come in from the west with some low pressure systems. And so we get completely opposite weather on these different computer models by um, next week so that is kind of showing the kind of uncertainty uh, we have there is not a lot of agreement between the different models uh, about what scenario uh, is going to occur and if we look at the european model um, you can see similar thing kind of an in-between scenario the high pressure kind of lingers a bit longer i would say um, kind of in the same position by kind of thursday friday instead of moving to the northwest or the southeast and it does mean we get a briefly chilly airflow across the um east of england and scotland i mean not really anything cold but would be fairly kind of cold weather seasonable weather before that kind of turns into a more mild westerly kind of setup so that just really illustrates we have lots of very different different scenarios um of the weather for kind of Thursday, Friday, Saturday onwards. So to say with any confidence about there being cold weather and snow is pretty much impossible. So if you see anyone talking about snow, cold, just at this stage, do not believe them. And even hypothetically, if this were to occur, which I'm not saying it would, it's probably kind of, <clears throat> sorry, probably less than 50% chance, even 25% chance at this time. Um, I will update if that does change. But in this hypothetical scenario, the only places that would actually see snow are northern Scotland. Lower levels, it would probably be sleet or rain because it's still fairly early on in kind of autumn and winter. So 
it's unlikely that any lower level areas would see snow. It would be high ground of kind of northern areas, um, and it would otherwise just be feeling quite cold, kind of quite unpleasant really. Um, probably some kind of unpleasant cold northerly winds. So really, it's not worth getting excited for. No snow at this stage for um, for kind of most of England, Wales, and Ireland. Perhaps some stuff for Scotland if this were to occur. But like I said, this in itself is a low confidence low probability scenario now you may have seen people posting the latest gfs run uh, online which was particularly interesting because it did show a actually kind of northeasterly uh, easterly airflow with a properly cold air mass coming in for the time of year and if this were to occur it would bring a snow risk for perhaps lower levels but this is very 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 unlikely you have to stress it that all the models have different scenarios and when those scenarios play out, the further along they get, kind of the more different and vary between the models. So as you can see here, this is showing mild, unsettled weather. This is showing cold, perhaps snow weather. And this particular scenario is unlikely at any winter, kind of at any point in the winter, let alone kind of currently at three weeks, two, three weeks away. So if you see anyone saying, look, it's going to snow at the beginning of December, ignore them. We just do not know for now. And kind of an illustration of that is the ensemble chart, uh, which you can see here kind of gives you an illustration of the different um, ideas, the different variation in possible solutions. And you can see we have fairly good confidence um, up to about Thursday, Friday next week, like I mentioned. And you can see that because all the different computer model runs, uh, sorry, ensemble runs, which is the kind of smaller members of the main run, are quite close together on this chart. That shows you have good confidence. But then look, it's kind of almost perfectly timed by the 24th of November that in, uh, confidence really decreases and we get a huge spread in the possible outcomes from anywhere from um, mild, wet weather at this end to cold weather. And just to kind of stress again how unlikely this particular run is, you can see the green line, which is the one I just showed you. That's kind of the one that is represented by this model one just there is on the very bottom of the kind of the main ensemble pack if you can see this is the ensemble spread and the green line is on the very bottom of it so that just shows that the probability of this happening is low there's a lot a lot of uncertainty and if anyone tries to tell you it's going to snow do not believe them unless you're kind of an, across northern scotland there's a slightly bigger chance and even if they tell you it's going to be cold take that with kind of a grain of salt we just do not know at this stage maybe by tuesday wednesday we will have a better idea, but for now, it's just too low confidence to say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Bye-bye.